Kusti. Kosti, the ancient Iranian wrestling style that's more than just a physical contest, it's a cultural phenomenon. Dating back to the times of mythological heroes like Rustam from the Shahnameh epic, Kosti has been a staple in Iran's rich history. This wrestling style isn't just about pinning your opponent, it's about embodying strength, humility, and chivalry. Practiced in the Zurkane, or strength houses, Kosti Palavani is a blend of physical prowess and spiritual discipline. Each region in Iran boasts its own unique variation, but they all share a common thread of promoting inner strength through outer strength. Whether it's the Kurdish style or the ancient form practiced in the Zurkane, Koshti remains a testament to Iran's enduring warrior spirit. Er Enish. Er Enish, a traditional Kyrgyz horseback wrestling, combines strength, dexterity, and equestrian skill. In this fierce sport, Wrestlers aim to pull their opponent off their horse to win. Competitions take place in a flat, circular area, where riders, bare-chested and equipped with belts and scarves, battle it out. The horse plays a crucial role, requiring endurance and obedience. Matches begin with a referee's command, and the goal is to unseat the opponent. The sport is organized into weight categories and follows strict rules set by the Er Enish World Federation, ensuring both tradition and competitiveness are preserved. Tagumi Tagumi, often considered the Okinawan version of sumo, is a gritty, no-nonsense wrestling style that predates karate. Forget about the massive wrestlers of Japanese sumo. Tagumi is more about leverage, tripping, and pinning your opponent on any flat ground available. It's a childhood staple for Okinawan boys, blending seamlessly into their everyday life. But Tagumi isn't just a sport. It evolved into a serious combat technique. With influences from Chinese martial arts, Tagumi incorporated poking, pinching, joint locks, and even vital point strikes. Though it faded from mainstream karate training due to safety concerns, it's making a comeback. Thanks to martial artists like Patrick McCarthy, Tagumi's legacy continues. Hidden in the kata of modern karate and enhanced by the popularity of jujutsu and MMA. Submission Arts Wrestling Submission Arts Wrestling, or SAW, is a modern Japanese martial art founded in the 1980s by Hidetaka Aso, a protege of the legendary Carl Gotch. SAW seamlessly integrates techniques from catch wrestling, judo, and sambo into a formidable no-gi grappling system. The essence of SAW lies in its chains of chokes and joint locks, with a particular emphasis on devastating leg locks. Practitioners, clad in t-shirts or rash guards and shorts, master technical elements like throws, holds, and sweeps, all while aiming to force their opponent into submission. Training involves rigorous sparring and conditioning, ensuring that every move is executed with precision and power. Galhofa. Galhofa is a centuries-old wrestling style hailing from the rural regions of northern Portugal, particularly in Trazos Montes. Practiced on hay and barns during St. Stephen's festivities, this wrestling form is as much a community celebration as it is a combat sport. With no official rules or techniques, the aim is simple. Pin your opponent's back and shoulders to the ground. Historically a rite of passage for young men, Galhofa is now striving for a revival through organized sportization efforts. Unique for its blend of spontaneity and tradition, it mirrors the playful rivalry of neighboring villages. Today, institutions like the Polytechnic Institute of Braganza are ensuring Galhofa's survival by incorporating it into their sports curriculum. Leonese Wrestling Leonese Wrestling, or Lucha Leonesa, is a traditional sport from Spain's Leon region. Fought in a circular arena called a coro, competitors grip each other's belts, aiming to throw their opponent down. Matches are brief, lasting no more than three minutes, with victory earned by scoring four points through full and half falls. Originally a spontaneous, rule-free contest held during local festivals, it has since evolved into a structured sport with gender, age, and weight divisions. In 2017, it was recognized as an intangible asset of cultural interest by the Castile and Leon regional government, preserving its rich cultural legacy. Benjang Wrestling Benjang Wrestling, or Gulat Benjang, is a fascinating tradition from Bandung, West Java, Indonesia, dating back to the mid-1960s. Combining elements of judo with local wrestling rules, matches are fought shirtless and wrestlers score more points by executing takedowns without following their opponent to the ground. Unique to Benjang, 
exposing your shoulders to the sky during moves like suplexes or gut wrenches can actually score points for your opponent. The sport is also culturally rich, often accompanied by Sundanese drum music, adding a rhythmic backdrop to the intense bouts. Sardinian Wrestling Sardinian wrestling or Sa Strumpa is a historic combat sport from Sardinia. Originating from the ancient Shardana people, this style involves wrestlers facing each other with one arm under the opponent's armpit and the other over the shoulder, aiming to throw their opponent to the ground. Traditionally barefoot and wearing canvas jackets, Sastrumpa was revived in 1985 with modern rules, including weight classes and timed bouts. Officially recognized by the Italian Federation of Judo, Karate, and Martial Arts in 1997, Sastrumpa blends cultural heritage with modern sport. Tournaments are held across Sardinia, ensuring the tradition thrives. Glima, Glima, a traditional Scandinavian martial art, dates back to the Viking Age over 1,200 years ago. The term Glima means glimpse or flash, reflecting its swift techniques, which include throws, kicks, chokes, and locks. Both men and women participated in Glima, which comes in several forms, Brokatok, Hergspena, and Lausatok. Brokatok, the most common in Iceland, focuses on strength, with wrestlers wearing special belts. Hergspena, or backhold wrestling, is a strength test where losing occurs if any part of the body other than the feet touches the ground. Lausatok, or loose grip, is more aggressive, allowing all wrestling techniques. Glima was even showcased as a demonstration sport at the 1912 Stockholm Olympics. Canarian Wrestling Canarian Wrestling, or Lucha Canaria, is a beloved traditional sport of the Canary Islands. This ancient wrestling style, once used to resolve disputes over land, is now a competitive sport held in arenas called terreros. Wrestlers aim to floor their opponents using skill and agility rather than just strength. Respect and sportsmanship are paramount, with winners helping their fallen opponents up and embracing them. Matches consist of rounds between two teams where wrestlers grip each other's clothes and attempt to knock their rivals off balance. Vietnamese Traditional Wrestling Vietnamese traditional wrestling is a lively folk sport. Matches begin with rhythmic drum beats, creating a festive atmosphere. An honorary match starts the event where renowned wrestlers demonstrate moves slowly to educate the audience and honor ancestors. Wrestlers, bare-chested and wearing red shorts with silk belts, perform a pre-match dance to show respect for their masters. The matches are brief and aggressive, focusing on grappling. Victory is achieved by pinning the opponents back to the ground, making for an exciting and dynamic spectacle. Kazakh Kuresi Kazakh Kuresi is one of Kazakhstan's oldest sports. Wrestlers called Baulans, wear special uniforms with blue or red stripes and belts. The goal is to throw the opponent to the ground and make their shoulders touch it. Practiced nationally and internationally, Kurizi includes men and women from age 14 up to veterans. Wrestlers must stay standing and can grab their opponent anywhere above the belt using techniques like sweeps, hooks, and throws, but cannot grab feet or lie on the ground. Chidaoba Chidaoba is an ancient Georgian martial art practiced widely across the country. Combining wrestling, music, dance, and special garments called choka, it evolved from combat to a spectacular sport. Tournaments are held in open-air arenas, accompanied by zurna and doli music, enhancing the contest dynamics. Wrestlers use around 200 special holds and counterholds, showcasing their creativity. Matches are marked by chivalric conduct and sometimes end with a Georgian folk dance. Encouraging a healthy lifestyle, Chidaoba plays a vital role in intercultural dialogue, with young people practicing it outdoors from early spring to autumn. Nuba wrestling. Nuba wrestling, practiced by the Nuba people of Sudan, is an ancient tradition held weekly at the Hajj Youssef Stadium in Khartoum. Wrestlers, wearing shorts and t-shirts, apply white ash and sand to their bodies. Matches occur in a sand-covered ring, with the goal of dropping the opponent to the ground. Challenges are initiated with a dance. Victors are celebrated with cheers, singing, and money placed on their foreheads. This sport preserves Nuba cultural heritage and strengthens community bonds. If you enjoyed this video, then check out part one where I covered the popular wrestling styles. Don't forget to subscribe for more.